Millions of years ago, lots of animals used their tails to help them swim. When some of them left the water behind, their tails changed or disappeared completely. Imagine you live in a world where this last part didn't happen, and everyone has tails, including people. This gives them special abilities, but it all depends on what kind of tail they have. You were born in a big city and have a furry tail, a little like a dog's or a cat's. What do you need it for? Our pets use their tails to communicate. They can reveal a lot about the emotions a dog or cat is experiencing. In the same way, these human tails show how people feel. As you're walking down the street, a woman passes you. She's talking on her phone. Someone must be telling her some good news because her tail is wagging quickly from side to side. In the distance, you can see two guys talking to each other. Their tails are pointed up like pillars, which means they're getting angry and are ready for a confrontation. Even from this distance, you understand that they're not just talking, but arguing with each other. It's very difficult for people to control their tail when they're experiencing certain emotions. If a friend is smiling at you, but their tail is lowered, then you naturally try to cheer them up, because you can understand that they're in a bad mood. Those specialists who can read facial expressions to see if someone is telling the truth have also learned to read tail movements. This also makes it extra hard to play poker. Your wagging tail lets everyone at the table know when you have a good hand. Oh well. You reach the office and, once inside, see a colleague talking to the boss. The colleague's tail is tucked up behind their legs, so they're probably afraid. The boss is probably scolding them for a bad report, you think to yourself. Then you catch sight of your friend at their desk. You're happy to see them, so you begin to wag your tail. Yesterday was your birthday, and now your friend gives you a present. It's a round-the-world airplane ticket. Great friend! You go home after work and pack your suitcase. You remember to take all the clothes and accessories you need for your tail. Fashion is a little different in this world. Some people like to wear rings on their tails, while others give theirs fashionable haircuts or shave them and get tattoos. But the most fashionable people of all have peacock tails. These animals use their tails to scare off predators and also to impress other peacocks. Just like this showy bird, humans use their peacock tails to make themselves look beautiful. Most of them work in the fashion industry. They spend half the day taking care of their tails and the rest of their time on catwalks or at photo shoots. Your suitcase is packed, you go outside and realize you're late for your flight. You run to your taxi, moving much faster than ordinary human beings. That's because your tail is not just for communication, it also gives you much better balance. You can walk on a narrow curb and not fall off, and easily jump over obstacles. You reach the airport, board your plane, and fly north. It's summer, so instead of snow, you see green fields and meadows. Cows and horses are grazing all around. Their tails help them ward off flies and other annoying insects. You see people with the same kind of tail, small ones with a tuft at the end. Since they're great for sweeping and swiping, they use them as brooms. The streets here are really clean. They also come in handy in the evenings, when there are lots of mosquitoes around. With their tails constantly swishing at the little critters, these people don't get bitten very often. You journey farther north. There's a lot of snow here, and it's very cold. You put on a coat and place a warm cover on your tail. But the locals here don't need these covers. Like foxes, they use their bushy tails as blankets. They not only keep them perfectly warm, but like alligators' tails, they also hold a large amount of fat. This helps them stay full and energetic even in winter. But you're getting cold and decide to fly down to the south. It's very hot here, so you put a little hat on your tail to protect it from the scorching sun. The cities in this country are surrounded by jungles and rainforests. In this environment, many people shave their tails to keep cool. You arrive at your hotel, and they offer you a regular room or a room inside a tree. You're intrigued and choose the tree room. In this region, the houses are built right inside the trees. It's difficult for you to climb up to them with your ordinary tail, but the locals find them really comfortable. Lots of people here have monkey tails. They can use them to grab the trees and balance on branches. Their tails are like third hands, which give them a lot of agility and speed. This extra hand has a lot of advantages. 
They can be used to cook food and browse through your phone at the same time. These people can also use their tails as chairs just by leaning on them. But the coolest thing they can do is swing from tree branches, holding on to them with their tails. You meet some of the locals. They hold out their tails instead of their hands to say hello. Your new friends take you to an unusual music concert. The performers have noisy tails like a rattlesnake. These animals normally use their loud tails to scare off enemies. But here, the musicians just use them as instruments, like maracas. At the concert, you meet people who have reptilian tails. These guys don't worry too much about losing their tails if there's an accident. If their tails comes off, it'll grow back completely in a couple of months. Reptiles use this ability to escape from predators. For the people here, though, it means they can put on spectacular magic shows. You're also very impressed by the people that have scorpion tails. Scorpions use the stingers on their tails against enemies, but these guys use them for medicine. Scientists recently discovered that scorpion venom can be used to treat diseases. So while they may look fearsome, people with scorpion tails are actually really good doctors. After a couple of days in the hot climate, you head out to the coast. Here, you meet people with fish tails. They look like mermaids, but they can't breathe underwater. Their tails help them to swim fast, dive, and ride on their surfboards. There are also people with kangaroo tails. They've created new kinds of sports, like tail fencing and arm wrestling with their tails. These guys like going to the gym to work on their tail muscles. At the end of your journey, you meet people with the most useless tail of all – pig's tails. There's no use for their tails, but they still look very sophisticated and beautiful. With a tail like this, you can become a model or a movie star. Life sure would be different if people had tails. But if it all sounds a bit weird, think about this. There's a small bone at the bottom of our spine called the coccyx. This is what's left of the tails our ancestors had millions of years ago. But this hidden tail isn't useless. It still helps us to sit properly. And that's the end of this tale.